Welcome to the 2017 Oxford Lone Ranger Parade with your hosts, Terry Styles and Rod Wright. hi -yo, Silver, away! Hi everybody, welcome to the 5th Annual Lone Ranger Festival. I'm Terry Stiles from OCTV. And I am Rod Wright. And we are so excited. Again this year, this parade is bringing in people from all over. I hear that people are even coming in from out of state. I believe it, and yes. You, yeah, if you look down the sidewalks, look at the crowds that are here. Everybody's so excited. We got here quite early this morning. We're, yes, we're And here. they were here then. I know there were people lined up. I was worried that we were gonna. We were a couple of hours early and getting <laughs> parking spots. Yeah, we had but to actually walk. Actually, wasn't bad. And I wanna before we even get this started, I wanna thank Buckhorn Towing. Yes. Every year they give us a vantage point for this parade that we feel extra special sitting yeah, up here. Yeah, up high, we can yeah. see the parade. Yeah, yes. it's um, such a such an exciting event. And this year they have. Uh, I've got to look, but I think it's 90 something, 95 entries, entries. in the wow. parade this year. The posse has worked so hard and let me tell you that posse they are all unpaid civic citizens volunteering to put this together and they don't just start last month. No, no, <laughs> no. Rod makes sure of that. Yeah, Rod Charles and his posse, um, Susan Schner has done a lot of work. Rod's wife, Karen, Mary Ellen, who works for Rod. They uh, and, and there's so many people I can't even name, but they dedicate themselves to this. Mm -hmm. And they all have jobs. I mean, we all have lives beyond this, and to put something like this on is no easy task. And here they come, of course, we're getting this parade on the road with uh, the village police. And I would imagine, I haven't seen yet, but <laughs> they're gonna pipe up for themselves. <laughs> we have a new um, interim village police, Oxford Village Police, Mike Sowald. Welcome Mike Sowald. If you don't know him, stop by and, and chat with him. And then our Oxford American Legion Color Guard. Oh. Another group of dedicated hey, men. Thank you for your service. North oh, Oakland Post 334 VFW. And then right behind them is the Young Marines, uh, the 2nd Battalion Young Marines, 180 people strong with the Young Marines, Cecil Cameron under their direction, and um, they hold their meetings at the Methodist Church, and they're looking for young, interested young Marines, and, and it's a great organization. They're teaching kids life skills. And if you and, want a good you know, role model for your kids, great. Cecil's probably yep. one of the best Cecil guys. Cecil Cameron. Yes. Yeah. And Tim Parkhurst is also involved with that. And here come the veterans of foreign wars. And these guys. Love these guys. Again, out of post 334, the American Legion post 108 and 334. American Legion Post 108 is the Walter Frazier Post. Very, very active members in our community. A community would be a good community without them, you know? Oh, they do so much yeah, for the community. Not only at Christmas time, they do it behind the scenes. Nobody knows what they're doing, but they're helping all the time. And wow, this is probably one of my favorite entries. A 1956 T-Bird is my favorite oh, car. Oh my goodness. Looks like a T-Bird club. Wow, aren't they beautiful? And they have the Lone Ranger mask on too. I love it. Oh my goodness <laughs> sakes. Wow. Look at that car. <laughs> That's the Lone Ranger. <laughs> And she's taking pictures of everybody from in. <laughs> and this is the Oakland County Mounted Police. They're 
escorting the parade marshals, Very and I think it's parade marshals plural of Joe Bullen and Joe Young, former village manager. Of course, this is the Oakland, <laughs> Oakland County Sheriff Department. Mike that Bouchard. car looks fast. That's a nice looking car, isn't yes, it? Yes, <laughs> it is. I wouldn't want them to be chasing me down. Joe Bullen has been in this community a long time, very active part of this community, one of the pillars of our community. Um, he's dedicated and donated his time to many boards. I will say the same for Joe Young, oh, who yes. is our former village manager of, I believe, I think he's he was in there 15, 16 years. And here comes oh. the Michigan Yodeling Sweethearts. Now, you know, this is so appropriate for uh, for um, the Lone Ranger Parade because yodeling was really popular amongst a lot of the sure country western singers yeah. back in the 30s and yeah. 40s. Of course, uh, I think uh, it came from their... Gene Autry their, and the Roy yeah. Rogers were all yodelers as well. And they, this is not their first time in this no, parade. No, they, no. I think they asked to come back as well. We have many, many, many entrants that have asked rather than us going, please be in our parade. They, they asked to be involved in this wonderful parade. This is a 1936 Plymouth written, uh, driven by Ron Zimba. That's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Goodness, what do we have here? The <laughs> Sunshine like Performers. Sunshine Performers. Wow, that is not an easy task, either one of them. Look at how tall that guy is. Oh and the flame God. throwing, oh my goodness. Frame, flame breathing. How very cool. Wow. I'm sure we're getting a good zoom in on that one. That's pretty fascinating. Yeah, big Boy, bottle of water. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get oh something to rinse after this parade, that's for sure. Yeah. I wonder how his dentist feels about him doing that. And that looks like a Wonder Woman, Supergirl. I think this is yeah. Tanisha Miller. God bless her little heart. She looks darling. <laughs> <laughs> She's adorable. And this is the Oxford wrestling team. Oh, yay, finally. And this is the Oxford wrestling team. Oh, yay, finally. Now these guys, I'll tell you, Oxford has one of the best wrestling teams in the state. They should we, do. Always we have yeah. been so good for so long, and it's because they start with these young guys, and they got a lot of young guys walking right here. Look at those little guys in yeah. there, and they're wrestlers. You know, that's the, the most difficult sport to watch because it is one on one. Yeah. You don't have a team member to depend on. You have your team to support you, but this is a one on one sport, and I'm telling you, it takes stamina. They learn a lot by well, doing this. Sport. Well, that's where the program starts with these little guys right here. Okay, this is entry number 19. This is Randy and Mary Ellen Davison celebrating their 61 years together. They went to school in Ortonville, graduated in 1956, and have lived in this community for 54 years. Wow. 61 years, congratulations. Wow. Yeah, they're doing really well in this community. Randy was a businessman in this community for years. Marching New Orleans Band, how fun. This is the North Oakland Dixieland Band. And I think it might be led by George Sinout. 
and they just played in the park. How fun. They're all wearing the Lone Ranger mask. In the spirit. <laughs> Tiger mascot. He got some young <laughs> ball players in front of him. <laughs> Shaking his tail. Oxford Youth <laughs> Baseball. Oh my goodness, look at that bicycle. Okay. Okay, this, this uh, entry coming up is uh, the Lone Ranger and Tonto around a campfire. And that was put together by Merge Studios and Evergreen Coffee. I happened to be in there the day they started coming up with this idea. So really? I was excited to see what they came up with. How fun. You got to see I it love materialize. How the community there you got go. behind all that. And here's Ronald McDonald, driven by Joan Halstead. Car and Ronald McDonald. <laughs> yes, Joan. She's a oh, very good Joan. manager there. She's been yes. in, at, at McDonald's forever. She's walking. She's not driving. Hi, Joan. <laughs> I have two kids that work for McDonald's, and they have been wonderful to them. It's a Model A Ford and Calliope wagon. And this is not their first time. This is not the first time in this parade, and they have graced this community with that lovely music, I think since maybe year two. Oh my goodness. How sweet. <laughs> Kids hang, handing out candy is by from the design closet. Farmer Kunsa. And this must be. This is Troop 119. Hey guys. There's so many wonderful um, organizations in this community that are dedicated to kids, right? Our, the troops, our parades are filled with Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. I just love it. Well, that was a time period it's too American when the Heritage. Lone Ranger Embrace was doing it. The, the, yeah, right. That was a, the great time right. for the, the uh, Boy Scouts, and I'm glad to see them still going. And very American, just like the Lone Ranger. And, and so are the superheroes. Oh We've boy. got some superheroes coming up. Um, Captain America, Iron Man, Deadpool, Spider-Man, Batman, Robin, Wonder Woman, and Superman are all in this parade. We are safe <laughs> in this community, aren't we? Well, the kids love that. Yes. Well, Russell loves that. Closets <laughs> by design. What a cool, cool vehicle. Custom closets by design, home offices and pantries right in our community. And you see what's coming up, Rod. Oh, I do. Behind all these superheroes. I am ex so excited about this. This Wells Fargo stagecoach, Rod pulled teeth to grace our parade a year or two ago, and now they want to be involved every year after that. And I'm telling you, there's a waiting list to have these people grace our community. Right. I really appreciate that they Wells are Fargo. willing to come into this wonderful parade. <laughs> <laughs> so iconic, and what is a Lone Ranger played without Wells Fargo? Thank you for being here, Wells Fargo. Oh, here comes Wonder Woman and Robin. <laughs> well, that's kind of an odd combination, but we'll take it. That's right. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> wow, is that why I'm still looking at that wagon? Oh, it's, it's pretty gorgeous. Absolutely, isn't it? it is flawless. Wow. Those horses are so patient. They've been stopped at the stoplight. <laughs> this is the Lapeer County Sportsman's yeah. Club Wrangler. 
um, entered by George Boissonneau, and I'm going to give OCTV a plug here. We just did a story on George and his wife. They're Native Americans. They do reenactments um, for the Cowboys for the club. They belong to the Sportsman Club, and they've been in this parade before. And I really, really want to thank the Lapeer County Sportsman Club for being involved in our parade. So watch OCTV, and if you don't catch it on TV, you can catch it on YouTube. Our Community Access did a story on he and his wife, who are Native Americans, and attend powwows. Oak Point Stables. I'll tell you what, North Oxford is horse country. Sure is. And here they are. And thank you for joining us. That's Jeannie uh, Juzik. And look at these little sweethearts. This is the Oxford Wildcats. This is <laughs> promoted by the <laughs> Athletic Boosters. These are future cheerleaders and future football players in front of us. And oh my goodness, look at the spirit that they have in their heart. That's our farm system. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's working. Like the rest of they start out young. Yep. <laughs> These dedicated coaches, my goodness, you know, we all, again, the volunteers in this community are never ending. The, we all have lives, but look at how many dads and coaches are out there and all that group of kids. Wow. We're so lucky in this community. If you want to find out more about the Wildcats Athletic Boosters, contact Ruth Verbinski. She's the one that that signed up for the parade, so she probably knows somebody, She knows right? somebody, that's right. <laughs> and be sure and watch this production on OCTV, Charter Channel 191, AT&T Channel 99, or you can watch any program you want by going to our website, occtv.org. Or you can also watch any program you want by going to our YouTube station, Oxford Community Television slash YouTube. Um, we do, our entire crew is here today. Ashley Point, um, Connie Miller, Cody Wright, Dave Kenny, Elgin Nichols, Bill Service are all in the parade. And then the people working the parade is Russell Courier, Janice Warner, Dan Zweiss. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I get everybody, Rod Wright and myself, Terry Styles. We're not missing anybody. I, I, Kyle had no Kyle had a family reunion. He was really sorry to miss this today. And John Ochins is on a sabbatical. Now this is a big head. One of the tall heads. Tall, yeah. From the, the American Parade yep. Company. Um, sponsored by, this is I believe sponsored by Jim Sherman of Sherman Publications and I think underneath that tall head is Jim Sherman. The Sherman Publications really does do a lot to sponsor this parade every and that, year. And, that's a, and may I add, that's a very unique thing to Detroit. Detroit has the tall heads. It's a, it's and a, that's it. And it's been around since 1924, the parade anyways, and that's a unique thing for the Detroit Thanksgiving Day Parade. And they're here. We're having a great time here. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> Mailer Salon. <laughs> the, oh, that's. Oh, I see. They who did they a are. great one last year They're too. A little I bit, love yep, it. Yep, they always do. They and do they get the rollers job. on their helmets. Oh no, she almost went down. <laughs> They've got Darth <laughs> Vader, Lash Bash. Oh my goodness, how cute. <laughs> And Jimmy Johns. They always do such a great job. Every now and again, you know, in staging, which is really, really a tough job, um, trying to line everybody up where they're supposed to be, it gets a little bit confused. So our apologies. If we miss anybody in post, we will definitely put their names down there. We'll find out who you are that we missed. This is Guardians of Harmony. Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> oh boy. Cute. They sound good. And following them. Breaking up is hard to do is what they're saying. Right behind him is On Point, another one of our businesses um, at the Legacy Center. There is so much going on at the Legacy Center. You have to go there to find out. Such a great they have place boxing, for people. They have a boxing rink there. They have a pool there. They have all kinds of stuff. Gymnastics and dance and all the sports. What a great addition to our community. Speaking of gymnastics, we have some gymnastics. Young, look Looks at like all those trophies, ones. too. Yep, they're doing well. Here we go, another tall head. From and Skelneck who, Ford? Is that who's, yeah, appropriate, uh, Native American. this says big heads. We have tall heads and big heads here. And that's Brad Jacobson walking beside it. And here comes General Custard. General Custard spent his boyhood in Monroe. He was born in Ohio, uh, born in 1839, and of course, uh, the famous little uh, Battle of Little Bighorn in 1876 where he perished, but he is a Michigan icon. Michigan um, homeboy. That's right. <laughs> he was in this, a hero in the Civil War. He yeah. belonged to the Michigan 7th Cavalry, which was also known as the Michigan Wolverines. And thank you for gracing our parade, sir. I understand that um, OCTV did a great interview with him, so you'll have to catch that as well. Nursing, Nursishers Taxi. We have a taxi service in the area. That's wonderful. So if you've been out with friends and um, maybe had a, a really fine night out, these are the people to call. Give them a call. They'll get you home <laughs> safe. Yeah, call them at 248-845-8088. And perfect a minivan, too, so they can uh, get lots of people and stuff. Yeah, you can have your whole party. There you go. <laughs> get a ride home. <laughs> Don't drink and drive. The crowd is just tremendous. This is the full motorcycle drill team, Elf Kurafi, the Shrine Motorcycle Drill Team, which um, they do such a fantastic job. And you know they come from all across the state. One guy's from Grayling or Gaylord, the other guy's from Saginaw, another one's from Flint. None of them are from here and they come down here every single year. I, was, I had the good fortune to be able to speak with them. I'll tell you what they and have. they're totally in sync. They are. They really are. Great job. They know how to do parades. W.J. Duncan uh, organizes the drill team. <laughs> and they're going to stop the wave to us. <laughs> they're in Very such nice. sync. Right in front of us, that is perfect. There we go. They stop on a dime. They actually watch footage of themselves and practice throughout the year to make sure they are aligned absolutely perfectly. I believe it. They are. They're, it they're takes, really good. It takes a little bit of work to get that done. Total volunteer time. A lot of people wonder about the Lone Ranger. Why a Lone Ranger played in Michigan for all things? Well. Grace Bremer is from Oxford, and he was the third Lone Ranger on WXYZ, which was born here in Detroit, and he was he lived here on uh, Drainer Road. That's right. There's still so many people in Oxford that, that you talk to that him. remember him. Yeah. And, yep. Yep. He was born in uh, nice I think it was 1901, and passed away. Of course, we lost in him in 65. Right. So. Um, but he lived here. He actually had a horse at his barn, and it was mm -hmm. silver. Yeah. And I understand he used to hand out silver bullets to the kids and people. And oh, how sweet. Wow. Yes. Wouldn't you like to have one of those? 
I do want to mention um, Brad Jacobson Walking with the Tall Indian Head was sponsored by Abacus Accounting of Lake Orion. So we do have a lot of Lake Orion um, sponsorships within this parade and here's Urban Air, another one of the legacies, businesses that Christian Mills has helped a lot of people start a, a start up business by being able to be housed at the Legacy Center. There's so much going on. Splash is another one. Oh, they have an ice cream place, the Yo. Oh, Plus they have a great restaurant yummy, there too. Yummy, yummy, the Yo Club. <laughs> And the, the, the owners of Splash had other careers and wanted to do something fun and special for a community and dove, <laughs> dove into a new business, no pun intended. And this is Christian Mills' car. I think that's Christian Mills coming up in the um, lovely, is that a Pontiac or is that a, a Chevy? <laughs> the big, big white boat car. <laughs> <laughs> He's done so much, <laughs> so much for this community. Such a sweet person. Oh, you can tell this is a car town because we yes, have the sir. best cars in this town. Should do. More These music. Are the singing tw twins, twin sister singers? This is Saradin. Saradin Construction has done so much for this parade. They've donated funds, they've donated their time, they've volunteered equipment for this parade. Without them, there'd be a big hole in this parade. And those girls sure can sing, can't they? <laughs> they sure can. And the robotics torque team, they're doing so well for this community. Congratulations, you guys, they did so good in the last uh, robotics season. It's unbelievable how fast and how well they've done. That's one of our shining stars yep, at, sure at the is. school. Torque team, yep, it sure is. Bravo, Torque. Educational Excellence Award. Yep. Yep. They did really well this year. Now that is a group <laughs> to get into. Look at that. Look at that. Such an exciting event. Look at event. that. Oh my goodness. It's all going in. <laughs> Their competitions are fierce. And I'll tell you, Oxford stands up to it. Look at that innovation. They have to take the wind in account there. They're getting them in. <laughs> A lot of people involved in Torque as well. Oh my goodness, yes. And first Oxford Robotics Center, we can't forget them. They're um, junior robotics for K through 8th grade, possibly. Um, a, an entire group of people. I believe uh, the Legacy Center also houses a Lego group. Man, are we going to be turning out the engineers. Look at this. Isn't that something? Wow. And that's how it starts, with community. That's with the where it folks. begins, yep. And the Addison Oaks Trail Riders. Again, Oxford is a equestrian community. We have some of the most beautiful barns and, and clubs. And our, and our Oxford Equestrian team and in high school know, is quite successful, too. I was going to say, too. they yes. have their own this yes. year. And they, they get they very little press. We're, we're guilty, but they are an amazing group. <laughs> and Let's course, give the pooper scooper a, well, he's a big <laughs> high five. <laughs> What's a parade without a little horse poop, right? That's right. That's what I say. <laughs> That's especially in it's this community. We're not, it's nothing new. <laughs> we are not put off by that at all. Oh, look at him. There he goes. And he also um, belongs to the Addison Oaks Trail Riders. Thanks. Well, the road Thanks is Appleus hard... now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the tough job. <laughs> Oh, this is Miss Senior Michigan. Hello! Bedford Township Unicycle, Unicycle Club. Wow. Bless their hearts. Look at how far they came up to be in this parade. Thank you for being there. here. <laughs> oh, she lost her hat. Somebody needs to get her her hat. 
<laughs> Bravo. Wow, he picked, nice the, he job, picked buddy. up the hat from the unicycle. <laughs> That's, That's pretty good. impressive. Look at this guy. Wow. Uh, Tricks and... All volunteer. All volunteer. They came up here from Redford to help us celebrate the Lone Ranger Festival. Again, I want to thank um, everybody, the volunteers in this community, to help make this a success it is, but the, especially the Lone Ranger Posse and Rod Charles for bringing this entire community together like this. And in front of us is the Oakland Christian School. <laughs> We have great public schools and we have great private oh, yeah. schools as well. <laughs> Sorry. Our DPW. I need to talk about our DPW. Oh, boy, oh boy, works. these guys yep. work overtime at an event like this and I'm really um, grateful for them. And it's a crew that has been in this community forever. They don't change hands. They don't come and go. Don Brantley and his crew are consistent and steady. And I'm sure you want to talk about what's coming up. Oh okay. yeah, here we go. And then we'll listen to them a little bit. This is the Oxford High School Band. <laughs> yes, they have just they finished band camp last week. They spent four days at camp living in living in their quarters and working on their steps for the uh, for the football season and they are doing uh, should I tell them what they're doing this year? They are gonna do Lay Miz this year. It's oh, gonna wonderful. be fantastic. And then we'll listen to get to listen to them. During the summer, because they come to our parades. Mr. Jim Gibbons, who's been with Oxford for 20 years. I'll tell you what, this is the best guy. Bravo. One of their biggest ever, over 100. Wow. I think he said 170 members, 150, I 170. I had no yeah. idea. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I've got the chills, that's wonderful. And right behind them is the Wildcat Cheerleaders, which is Another very large group. <laughs> very successful, too. And we also have competitive cheer that's been very successful. Yeah, yeah. didn't they just, uh, they just came off a turn of, uh, a competition. Oh, and here's a tall head of Henry Ford. Now, let's see who that's sponsored by, Terry. I have to check out. Uh, that is sponsored by Scalneck Ford. I oh, think we might know this you know guy. This guy? <laughs> Scalneck Ford donated their car for the day and they allowed my husband to drive it. And I that was totally separate of me, but he gets to the prettiest girl in the parade, I think. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Scalneck Ford. And here is Tonto. This is the later version, Tonto, the Johnny Depp version of the latest movie by Disney. Very creative. Quite a bit different from the, the Tonto of the of the Bryce Bremer days. A little bit. And, and it's an interesting concept to that character. And this guy does a good job. And the superheroes are coming back here. Right there. The kids like the superheroes for sure. We had Iron Man, Captain America, and of course Wonder Woman's very popular this summer with the movie. 
which I hear is very good. PKSA Karate. That's Another legacy business, which is really nice. It's so convenient that parents can take their, their kids. <laughs> <laughs> parents can take one kid to one event at, at the Legacy Center, another to another uh, class at the Legacy Center, and then mom can go to the yoga class, and then they can all have the yoga club ice cream. There you go. Another really great business, surviving very well at the Legacy Center. We did. We sh saw some uh, competitions with these guys on the uh, mat. Well, Bill and I covered it. Boy, did we have fun! Oh yeah, that yeah. was a neat coverage. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. They had boxing and, and the martial arts as well. Yeah, you see boxing, if you haven't been yeah. in that place, you have to it's see it. It's an amazing place. Just if you haven't been there, just stop by. You'll see Ray Plant right across the street from Meyer. Genesis Credit Union. You know, they do so much for this community. They do, they volunteer their time, they volunteer their staff, they volunteer sponsorships, and they were a big supporter of the Lone Ranger Parade. They're also a big supporter of the Chamber of Commerce. Let's talk about that too. And this is a homecoming queen, our homecoming queen. I do want to mention um, Sophia Bell is our homecoming queen. I, I should have mentioned that earlier uh, in a Mercedes. Boy, this parade just keeps going, You Terry. know, the parade company is in our parade this year, which is such an honor to have them here. <laughs> the, the parade company, parade that, they're company. the people that do the Hudson the Parade. Jail Hudson. What an honor. Since 1924. It is, you know, it is broadcasted throughout the nation, not just in Detroit, but everywhere in the country. And the Shriners, what can we, what can we say that is enough about the Shriners? They just do so much for kids in the community, so much for every single community, those in need. And that is a clown car. <laughs> And the bagpipes, oh my goodness, what's a parade without bagpipes? Go GOP, Greater Oakland Republican Club. And they got the elephant there, and the red, white, and blue, pulled by Culver's. Beautiful horse. Representative John Riley coming through. He's done a lot of parades in the last year. This is his first go round at being a state rep. He's uh, hit the ground running. And tractors, yesteryear farm tractor club. What an amazing thing to see. All these wonderful old tractors coming down the street. These are local um, farmers that are just completely dedicated to old tractors and preserving our history, and I really appreciate that. That sound brings back memories, doesn't it? It does. Little boys are looking at them like, wow. <laughs> I wish I could drive that. Let me drive that. I wish I could drive it. That would be fun. And then following behind the farm walls is the John Deere. Gotta have a John Deere in there for heaven's sakes. Or a farm wall. Or a farm wall. Yeah. Is that kind of like a PC and an Apple computer? <laughs> <laughs> You're either one or the other.
So we had the homecoming queen and now here comes the homecoming king. And we don't have his name unfortunately. Brain balance. Not a new business in this community no. any longer, but no. they sure serve a special portion of our community. They help them so tremendously. Everybody should know who these people are. OC TV, Oxford Community Television. Bill Service driving the van. There's Ashley Point and Cody Wright carrying our sign. And we've got Dave Kenny driving Kurt Graham's Corvair, and you might know Kurt Graham. He was very involved in the studio for quite a while till he lost his eyesight, unfortunately. But he is volunteering his car, and driven by Dave Kenny. Sitting in the car is Elgin Nichols and Connie Miller <laughs> of Connie's Kitchen. It's OCTV. <laughs> We are dedicated to covering every event in this community, whether it's a parade or a meeting, we're there. And you know who else is always here in this community is the Knights of Columbus. Yes, and they yeah. always bring the Santa Maria. And even at Christmas time, when they've got two parades in one day, they come up to Oxford and represent. Thank you. <laughs> That's an iconic float. Sure it is. I've, I've seen it so many times and it's not a parade without it. Well, I was just going to say, you know? what would a parade be without I know. that float? Yes, it's been around for years. Yes, it sure has. And those superheroes are making so many kids happy in the crowd today. They're just going around talking to all of them. Okay, what do we got coming next here, Terry? Well, uh, if, if my sheet is right, it's the Trump Unity Bride and Bikers for Trump. Turned out to be a beautiful day in downtown Oxford. Chamber of Commerce Day. Everybody wants to be here. <laughs> Looks like Michael Gula in the Corvette, advertising for charity car show. Michael Gula is doing an ALS car show at the Legacy Center, I believe on August 15th, in honor of his grandmother who also has ALS. He's doing a fundraiser for that. And he's a young man who just graduated from Oxford High School. Nice kid. And speaking of the Oxford Chamber of Commerce, another group that does a lot for the community, businesses. They really promote our businesses. <laughs> and Debbie Wren is the president who also volunteers to do a, a show called Daybreak on OCTV. Well, I think I see the Duca coming. <laughs> yes. And who is this sponsored by? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was parked out as we were entering Oxford from the south, and they had this uh, trailer and, and Duke out on yeah, the trailer so for a while. And it kind of, yeah, and it kind of reminded you that the parade was coming. Oh, listen to they're getting a lot of hands. Oh, no. His and here's the Lone Ranger. <laughs> and another Tonto. The Tontos a lot are of hands. looking good, aren't they? <laughs> So this van coming up belongs to Kurt Graham of Oxford. Um, oh, and they're having to push it to get it started. Oh, that's a, too bad. He just had it um, redone and won um, a great award for the aesthetics of this van. It's beautiful inside. Overheated, probably. They do that. And that Corvette behind them is <laughs> ready, willing to help, encouraging. And 
You know a little bit about this, don't you? Oh, the Oxford Schools. <laughs> yes, they got their the mini school bus. And this is the mini school. There's Kelly Nichols. And I think they're going to be handing out suckers to the kids. Oh, that's very and nice. Kelly's of them. got a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> To the biggest kid, right? <laughs> thank oh, you. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you. <laughs> you too, thank you. <laughs> and this is the MSU Club. Michigan State University. Bravo. I've heard of it. It's a big one. <laughs> yep. I go think we own green. one of the seats in the stadium. <laughs> we might be blue and gold here at Oxford, but we love our green too. I'm telling you, I'm a green and white girl. That's right. You're a Lake Orion girl, aren't you? I'm Lake Orion, and my son went to state, so I'm green and white all the way. <laughs> and looks like we're going to have one more band and then a lot of sirens. <laughs> Buckhorn Towing has really been a supporter for any parade that we have in this community. Thank you again to Buckhorn Towing. Be sure and watch OCTV if you missed any part of this parade. We're catching the whole thing. Thank you again to the Posse, the Lone Ranger Posse, volunteers. Thanks to all the volunteers. Thanks to the DPW in Oxford. And now we're just going to listen and enjoy, right? Michigan State Alumni Band. again a fantastic fantastic parade I'm so glad that we were able to catch it again and speaking of Oxford Fire Department and thank you to the Metamora Fire Department for joining us and did I see Lake Orion we have drone shots of this whole parade and that is thanks to two very important people our drone pilots and they are um, Oxford firefighters and that's um, Dan Flanders who has also donated drone footage to us before and Anthony Grable and I'm I was remiss in mentioning them as OCTV people but they sure are and I can't help but thank them over and over again for the dedicated work they do as firefighters and also doing drone work for us it, it just enhances our production we're so proud to cover this community yeah. and the events that we do and Rod you're all over the community too so with thank you for covering it well, with thank me today. you it was fun and this is great this is Oxford at its best and sure uh, so many things in Oxford the, yeah. the Seymour Lake celebration was fantastic yes. this parade these are highlights and of course the schools and everything going on here so proud of this community that they pull together every time and make it a huge success no matter what they do whether it's the pub crawl the Christmas parade the downtown soup stroll oh boy. everything yeah, in this community is yeah. always a success so thank you to this community for letting us be a part of that and thank you for joining us on the fifth annual Lone Ranger Parade. <laughs>